Hello, this is Jin Diamond with you uh, for another batch file tutorial. And today I will be starting a new series. Uh, this series uh, will be comprised mostly of short and small tutorials for batch. And today I will be uh, showing how I make my 2D arrays. Wow, I cannot type and talk at the same time. So let me see. Um, call, so let's just set it. Uh, is this something like 60 lines, well, lines equals 25? Why not? Okay. Set home there equals CD. Sorry, this is just my default, my default heading. Okay, anyway, so for the uh, 2D arrays, and batch. Okay, so first, a 2D array is literally just, a 2D array is actually basically a string. Except, the string, it appears on multiple lines. And yes, it does appear on multi multiple lines. It's just that this, this string is broken up into separate parts. In this case, this, uh, this string is uh, 12 characters long and every 12 characters, there is a flag indicating that it is on another part of the uh, another part of the string. Well, we can do this kind of two-dimensional array in batch, but how do you make a two-dimensional array in batch like you say would um, in C++ or C, something like that? Well, it's actually very easy. All you have to do is come up with a variable name. In this case, we're going to say our variable name is gonna is gonna be called a uh, line okay basically all you have to do uh, this is the syntax here so set variable then in here counter excluding the brackets equals value okay so that's pretty helpful to know and the only rule here uh, counter Counter must increment. Must inc or dec. Okay, must increment or decrement. Plus or, mi plus or minus a number. Only a whole number. Where number... Where number can be expressed as a fraction. Okay, so um, let's just, like I said, my variable name is going to be called line. So let's just do this, set line, um, I could do line 0, set line 0 equals 0, set line 1 equals 1, 1, set line 2 equals 2, 2, 2, set line 3 equals 3, 3, 3, 3, okay. And now, uh, I want to see my output, right? So, for L, I, uh, in, I start at 0, and increment by 1 between each of these, because it's 0, 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to stop once I get to 3. Do, uh, echo, line, I. Oh, one thing I forgot. You need to have set local enabled delayed expansion. You need to have that. Um, exactly why I cannot remember, but I will get back to you guys on that once if it, once I find out exactly why. Okay. So let's see what happens. Good. Oh, crap. What did I do? Oh my gosh, I've been doing Java too much. Okay, so this is our output. We have that we have zero. Crap. What just happened? We have zero. One, one, two, 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 three, three, three. Good. Well, that's that's out of the way. Okay, so now let's see. Um, if you notice from mine, I I usually have something like this. Oh crud. Only because I think it looks prettier. 
you really don't need them, but I just think it looks a little bit prettier. So um, it looks more, I think it's easier to read. And plus also in here, it's it's much easier to see where where the uh, incrementing variable lies actually. Okay, so that's basically uh, the bare bones for the 2D arrays. Um, just counting up, counting down. Okay, let's expand a little bit on this. Let's comp this out. And how about this? Set P choice equals um, input a line 0 to 3. Okay, so now all we have to do is echo line Remember, set local enable delayed expansion line choice. Okay, so I'm just going to be assuming that you're actually putting in an actual number and not like a character or anything. And we shall be able to print one of those lines. Uh, let's do two. And excellent. Okay. Let's do zero. Excellent. Um, so this is this is it basically in, ju in just a little nutshell of 2D arrays and how I make them. Uh, this tutorial covered how we move up and down a 2D array. Uh, the next tutorial will be how do you go horizontally on a 2D array? How do you find something say x many characters away from the start or something like that? Or how do you even find uh, characters inside of a string? Uh, that will be part of string manipulation. String manipulation is not directly tied to 2D arrays, which is why I'll not be covering it in this tutorial. That will be the start of my next tutorial, uh, one-dimensional string manipulation. Okay, uh, thank you very much, and have a good day.